Hey everyone, welcome back to the Going Zero Waste YouTube channel. I'm Katherine Kellogg, and today I'm gonna to be going over a very, very well-requested video, which is about the time I spent serving my local government. Before I get into that, I want to kind of just talk about my experience with local government and when I started getting involved, because I started getting involved in local government when I was in high school. I was a member of the Young Republicans group. <laughs> and I went to meetings and things, and then I went to college and then became a member of the Young Democrats group. <laughs> And I grew up in a very conservative area. And at the time when I was in high school, I very much aligned with the political beliefs of my parents. But then when I got out of the home and you know into more of a setting for personal growth and started doing my own research, I realized I aligned much more with the Democratic Party. And I started, and then I started working with the Democratic Party of Arkansas and I canvassed and phone banked and worked with local politicians and would go around to neighborhoods and ask people who they're going to vote for and worked on several different campaigns. Man, this is great. This is so great. I love canvassing. What a great way to spend my time. And then after I graduated college, I was a professional actor and moved around quite a bit. And then I moved to California with my boyfriend, now husband, and we were in the same town for about five years. And I felt like I had enough roots put down to go ahead and look at serving the local government on a larger capacity. Now, if you wanna see change happen in your area, <laughs> I would argue that local government is much more important than the federal government. Because when you are working locally, you can see immediate impactful change in your own town. And something I think that's a really great example of this is the bag ban in California. So California passed a statewide plastic bag ban. But the reason that it passed is because a whole bunch of little tiny cities all over the state of California decided that they wanted to ban plastic bags. But every single city had different rules. And so it was driving grocery stores nuts trying to comply with all the different rules in all the different cities. And so they actually championed for the bag ban because then it would just be straight legislation that made sense over the entire state, which would make it easier on them than having to apply than having to abide by each city's different ordinance. So this is just one great way that local government can really come push and create broader change across an even larger area. So I think getting involved in local government is absolutely wonderful. And it was something that I really wanted to do more of. And then I heard about an opening for the Beautification Commission. Now the Beautification Commission dealt a lot with litter because litter, litter in your city isn't super beautiful. And I would highly recommend that you Google your city's name, boards and commissions, because there are boards and commissions for every single city and they all work in different areas. And the goal of a board and commission is to advise the city council on different legislation. And I think this is a great place for anyone to start because it's a super low point to entry. And instead of being elected, it's not like I ran a campaign, I was appointed. So I applied for the position and then I interviewed with the city council through a few rounds. And then I was appointed to that position by the city council because the city council is choosing their advisors in this area. I will definitely say I was one of the youngest people by a long shot. So I would highly encourage you to check on your local boards and commissions, uh, see if that's a position that you could fill or a position that you would even want to serve. It also gives you a really great understanding of the inner workings of government and a lot of the really kind of, well, slow moving things that happen and also just the way the process happens. I feel like I gained so much knowledge and so much insight from doing this. But of course, if you were looking for even less of a time commitment, you don't have to be serving on a board and commission to attend a meeting. And this is one of the best ways to push any legislation forward. So if there's something that you would like to see happen in your town, let's say you wanna have a citywide cleanup day where you pick up litter and you help inform the public on different waste reduction methods they can use to reduce the amount of plastic and packaging waste that comes into their life. Well, I worked on a day just like that with the Beautification Commission. But if you as a citizen would like to approach that, you could have come to our meeting. You could have said, hey, this is some legislation that I would like to get passed. This is a day that I would like to see happen. This is an event that I would want to see our city hold and host. Then the Beautification Commission would take that under review 
and we would talk amongst ourselves about how we could make that happen. And then we would bring you along as part of the process. We would create something together and then we would pitch it to the city council. So you don't have to be involved in the actual commission to be able to work on really cool projects. And I can tell you as someone who served, we would love, love, love to hear your ideas. We would love for you to come to us with ideas and action plans. And if you want to work through an idea, I'm going to link to a workbook that I created. It's inside of a blog post called How to Get Involved with Local Government, where I have created a full resource that you can use to really flesh out any ideas that you want to bring to your city. I think going through a board and commission is a much easier way of working with your city council because all boards and commissions have city council liaisons that will bring what the board and commission is working on to the city council. And so working with the board and commission is a really hands-on approach, especially if this is your first time trying to get involved or work on a project with your town. Now I'm going to talk about some of the legislation that I worked on, which I'm really excited about. There are a lot of wins and there are also like a lot of things that just went totally bust. And that's totally okay because, you know, I'm just doing the best I can. And I think there's this really big misconception that once you're finally in a quote unquote position of power, that you'll be able to change so much. Cause I remember thinking like, oh, I'm just one citizen. Like I'm just one person. And if I just had like a little bit more power, then I would be able to create real change. Well, I can tell you that obviously my power was like very, very, very small, but still at the end of the day, I was only one vote. I was still only one person and I still had to work with a lot of people. I had to compromise and there was still a lot of work to be done because there's still so much that you can do as a citizen if you organize correctly and you work together. So change is hard no matter where you are. I worked on several pieces of legislation. I worked on getting a citywide cleanup instituted, which we talked about. I worked on dump day, I worked on a bin bill, I worked on a styrofoam ban, and I worked on trying to create more green spaces in urban areas. So the cleanup day was a huge success. That was really great. Every, the first Saturday after spring, we do a citywide cleanup where we pick up litter and we talk about waste reduction, which was really great and a lot of fun. And I actually wrote the proclamation for that and got to read it. So that was really cool. And then I worked on a bin bill, which was to get more trash cans put in, trash cans and recycling bins placed in parks and outside restaurants to try and curb litter. Illegal dumping is a huge problem in my town. So people would have couches and other heavy machinery in the back of trucks or vans, and then they would just dump it on the side of the road. And that cost the taxpayers a lot of money to clean all of that up. So we instituted a dump day so people could come and bring all of the stuff they wanted to dump. And then we had people that were able to take care of it, whether that should have been recycled or going to the landfill or being in being placed in the secondhand market, etc. So that was a really, really successful day. The styrofoam ban totally failed twice. Like it was bad. The small business association was upset at me a lot. <laughs> so I tried to get that off the ground. It totally, totally failed, but worked really hard on that. That was unfortunate. And then, oh, Nala is coming to visit us. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hi. Hello. Which is an excellent point she just told me that you guys should hit the like button because she says so so do it and then l the last thing that i worked on was trying the last thing i worked on was trying to green more of the spaces in our urban areas so we had a large just dirt patch that we were working on trying to turn into a community garden or turn into a green space. Now I left right before when we started working on that so I'm not sure where they are with that on the process. The thing is about um, I did not seek reappointment because we moved cities and I obviously can't serve a city that I don't live in so that has definitely been one of the problems that I've experienced a lot in this area is that I move a lot. So I've moved 23 times 
and I'm not even 30 yet. So that is definitely one hindrance. But I know that once I do put more roots down, that getting involved again is something that I would absolutely love to do. So if you guys have any questions about getting involved in local government, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to address them. And make sure you check out the blog post that I wrote that really goes more into detail about how you can get involved with your local government beyond just voting. I mean, and voting is obviously super important. So make sure you're registered to vote uh, and then vote in all of your local elections, not just the presidential election. And please give this a thumbs up, press that big red subscribe button to be notified when new videos are coming out. And if there's anything else that you'd like to see me do a video on, please let me know in the comments. I hope you have a wonderful week.